Investment management is critical, especially once you start building up a lot of money. When you first start investing in your early years, you basically just want to take as much risk as you can handle to have your money grow as fast as possible. And you're probably not really paying attention to what's going on in the markets. You are most likely contributing to a 401k or an IRA, investing it automatically, and you may or may not even look at your statement. However, with investment management, as your assets start to grow, psychologically, movements in the market you're starting to realize are much bigger. For example, let's just say you only have $10,000 and the market goes up 1%. That's only $100. When you have a million dollars and the market goes up 1%, that's a $10,000 move. On the flip side, think about it on the negative. If the market goes down when you have a million dollars, your account's gonna go down $10,000. And that's where the psychology of investing comes into play. And that's where having a solid investment strategy is going to keep you in the game for as long as you need to stay in so that you can continue to make money as your assets grow over time. And that's where a lot of people really struggle is because when you're investing and let's just say you're 55 years old, 50 years old, 40 years old, old, 30 years old, right now is probably the most amount of money you've ever had at this point in time. And that's how it's going to be throughout your entire life. There are going to be some valleys along the way. There's pullbacks in the market. There's things that are outside of our control. However, many people are always looking at the top of their accounts and how far they go down rather than measuring from where they started to where they are today. So a solid investment strategy is going to allow you to understand what's going on with your money. Why is it going up? Why is it going down? Why is it just staying flat and making sure that we create a custom financial strategy based on your assets and based on your financial goals is going to be key to delivering the investment returns in order to achieve all of your financial goals and objectives, whether it's saving for a house, buying a car, saving for a wedding, paying for college, education, maybe it's even quitting your job. And that is really where the rubber meets the road because when investments go down in value, there could be opportunities to take advantage of and depending on what your risk of of your investments are. We wanna make sure that we're making strategic adjustments to our account to capitalize on any opportunities that we see rather than just staying in one strategy and not making any adjustments throughout your entire life. That is definitely one of the major and most common problems I see when reviewing someone's investment account.